After publishing her book about her uncle, what did Mary Trump say about the American president? Mary Trump, the niece of U.S. President Donald Trump, demanded that he step down and leave his post, attributing this to his inability to lead the United States, considering that allowing him to continue to do so was very dangerous. Yesterday, Mary, speaking for the first time after publishing her book Too Much and Never Enough, How Has My Family Made the Most Dangerous Man in the World? Who criticizes the American president, and shows him as a person not qualified to rule the United States, with former American media and politician George Stephanopoulos. This came after the court allowed Mary to publish her book, which she says was written based on her memories and her relationship with her uncle throughout her life, talking to the rest of the family, the situations she has lived from childhood to date, as well as a series of official documents. The judge's ruling to lift the ban order issued to publish and distribute the book, according to the British Telegraph, after rejecting the arguments of Robert Trump, brother of the President of the United States, that Mary Trump is prohibited from speaking about family members in public under a relative's agreement, to settle her father's legacy after his death. Immediately bored. Mary Trump, in an exclusive interview with ABC News, said that if she had been with the U.S. president in the White House now, she would have asked him to resign. Mary remembered her visit to the White House years ago, after three months of her uncle's arrival at the White House, and she said, he seemed really exhausted from the pressure as if he did not expect the matter to be this difficult, if he knew what was being presented to him after his candidacy for the presidency. At the time I tried to encourage him and told him, don't let them frustrate you, and she continued, I thought his response was more intended than my comment, so he said to me, they won't be able to harm me and yet he seems to be right. Mary said she saw close-up damage that could happen as a result of allowing people to act and live their lives without accountability, and she added, It is amazing to see that this continues now on a large scale. Unable to drive Mary thinks that the only important thing the United States needs to know about her uncle is that he is totally incapable of leading this country, and allowing him to do so is very dangerous, and she attributed this to what she saw as an adult throughout her life. Mary described her uncle as a narcissist, arrogant, bully and liar and said in the book that cheating is a way of life. In her book, Mary also accuses the president of isolating his father and ridiculed him after he began suffering from Alzheimer's. Mary said she saw close-up damage that could happen as a result of allowing people to act and live their lives without accountability, and she added, it is amazing to see that this continues now on a large scale. The Son of a Deranged Man In her conversation with Stefano Poulos, she stressed that her grandfather, the father of the American president, was deranged and cruel to his children. She resumed talking about her grandfather, he was doing everything to turn everyone including his children and wife, into pawns that he used to achieve his own goals. It is impossible to know what Donald Trump would look like if he lived in different circumstances, and with different parents, but he clearly learned the lesson. According to Mary, the tensions reached their climax between the family in the 1990s, 
especially after the death of her grandfather, as she and her brother knew that he and her brother had not mentioned her in his will, so the two brothers decided to file a legal case to protest their share in the funds of their grandparents' inheritance, noting that the rest of the family was to append harm them, to push them to lose hope and give up their rights. Mary and her brother Fareed told the American newspaper New York Daily News that the will of 1991 was subject to fraud and unlawful influence by Donald Trump and his brothers, where the head of the family was suffering from dementia. Reports indicated that the case was finally settled without revealing details, but the author considers it an unfair settlement. On the other hand, the White House said, yesterday, Tuesday, that Mary Trump and the book's publisher claim that the book is intended to serve the public good, but it is clear that this book serves the interests of the author. The White House questioned why the book was published now, more than three years after Donald Trump's presidency asserting that the American president asserts that his relationship with his father was very good, that he was a loving father, and was not as ruthless as the author claims.